Welcome all. In this video, I'll show you how you can run PHP programs and practice this server side scripting language in your Android devices. So, to do so, open Play Store and search for Case Web. It's a embedded software with PHP and MySQL. I've already installed it. After installation, click on that icon allow permissions then it will extract some offline components of mysql psp apache server etc after this extraction process it will prompt you for restarting the software so close it and open it again this is the navigation bar through which you can operate your server you can switch it on or off and accordingly your server will react you can see here by by default it's a default index page index.php which is located inside the htdocs file i'll show you inside the htdocs file index.php is there you can edit it I'm using a software called A Code Code Editor. It's a advanced software for developer purpose using your Android device. It has inbuilt code completion, auto code completion support for PHP, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, etc. You can see here the index.php is opened here. I'm editing I'm now going to edit it so that you can able to understand how it works I'm just printing a hello world message through it you can see here the echo snippet is already prompted here now clicking on this local host you can see the message is successfully printed now we now i'm going to show you how you can access php my admin through this software there are several soft servers are there apache mysql php and many more to enable php my admin go to tools option and click on php my admin there are so many servers are available for download I prefer the first one so click on ok you need active internet connection to download those desired files you can see here the download process has started it will download approximately 11 megabytes of storage of files now the process is completed you can see here the localhost 8001 has added as my admin server so click on that link it will redirect you to the index page of my admin the username is by default root and password is null so click on go to enter into the database interface i'll show you in desktop mode so that it can easily be visible to you you can see here the appearance is just like uh, any other desktop sites now I am going to show you a demo on how you can use this software for creating database to create a database the process is the same as a desktop like click on new and enter the database name and hit create a button it will create a database separate database for you You can see here the database crud has been created. Now you can also create some tables. Um, let me quick create a table. You can see it here from the student. A table name student has been created using this 
you can practice or hosting web applications through your android device so hope you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching see you in the next one